Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. Let's do this. All right, everybody. Jamin Jackson here. Welcome back. I'm excited to uh, take a look at this next video. Uh, Dragon Swing 2019 Shining Stars Division. Mix and match is what they call Jack and Jill. I don't. They call it something different at this event. Uh, I believe this level is the advanced level, which is a weird term for a lot of Lindy Hop because advanced in certain places it's like expert <laughs> and in other places it's beginner so let's just jump right into this i'm super excited to see what is about to go down and here we go wow that's a fancy logo <laughs> i like it it's like a like a dc logo it was kind of dark all right now i don't know a lot of these dancers so it's gonna be really exciting to see uh, who's gonna do something original. Now I'm looking for timing. I'm looking for control. And I'm looking for creativity. We'll see who can do all three. <laughs> yeah, these dancers these dancers are way higher than advanced. Like they got the technique. They just control it, got it. Oh yes, guy, that's right. I love this guy's dancing. And Daria, she's fantastic. Let's see what they did. Nice timing. <laughs> Audience loves that. I like it. Nice control. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they have some control, some timing. So far, they're in first, that second couple is. Yeah, like that clap. Oh yes, I've seen this couple before. Okay, let's see what goes down. Yes, yes. Good timing with that, like spacing out the uh, playfulness together. Very good, very good. That's a close, close first place. Yeah. Everybody likes breaking away, that's fun. Ah, yes. Now that's interesting because they did it literally almost at the same time. So I don't know if I don't know if they dance together a lot and do that a lot, but those kind of moments are special. Uh. Yeah. 
Yeah. Good control. They've got really, really good control, this couple. Come on, Ben. <laughs> yeah, the audience love that. Yeah, I like that. Trying something a little different. Good timing, good timing. Okay, okay. Yeah, I like that. Just play it off. Yes. Good timing. Yes, yes. I like when they can hear the music and like emphasize it. Even the little things. That that makes a difference. Okay, okay. All right, so far this couple right here for me has first place. They got the control, they got the timing, but they're moving more freely with the technique. They're not just doing like basic swing outs over and over. There's a little bit more confidence there to, to move around with their partner. Okay, okay. That couple's my second place so far. Okay, moving around freely. That's good, that's good. Going down, let's going down. Oh, oh, oh,
All right, guys. I'm just writing this down. These are these are tough competitions. Fans, like, bring it back, bring it back. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Good job, everybody. Who performed in that. It looks to me like there is a lot of people in this video. I see people wrapped around the side. This is an event that I remember being in a salt mine, uh, like two or 300 feet under the ground. Huge dance floor and a lot of event. I think a lot of uh, people, I think it outsells the, the tickets like each year within hours of opening registration, which I think is crazy to think. So really popular event, really great dancers. And now I gotta judge. I gotta judge what my initial reaction was. Um, I like to, like I said, I like to judge one of those three things. I like to look at control. That simply means can the leader give energy to the follower and chill out so that the audience can see what happens to that energy through the follower's movement. And it seemed like most of these dancers at this level could do that pretty well. Um, there was a couple that had a little bit more control. I think it was the leader with the blue suit and white shoes and the follower with the black shirt and like some flowers on it. They had the best looking control to me. Um, that is a bit subjective. You know, obviously they were more elastic in their movement so you can kind of see when the movement was gonna happen and how, where it was gonna go next. Um, it wasn't a lot of sharp movements. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but I could see um, that they weren't really rushed in their movement. So I, I really scored them the highest on the control element, but uh, the timing element wasn't as pronounced as many of the other couples. So I, I don't have them as high as I would have liked to have that particular couple because they scored the highest on uh, the control aspect. The, the couple that had the second highest level of control for me was the girl with the pink shirt, the gentleman with the hat, it was like round hat. Um, they had a lot of control. They had movement that wasn't just a swing out. Um, they were moving in and out of Charleston fluidly without having any like stumbling uh, moments where you could tell they were struggling with the rhythm and the transitions of that. So for me, they not only had the control, but they also had some timing. They also had some timing where it was, a, it was on point with the music uh, in ways where if I don't listen to swing music, I can clearly see the music and see their movement matching together. Um, so they had the control and the timing. Um, so right now I have them either first or second based on that. The couple that got clearly second to me uh, was the girl with the red hair, I believe it's Daria, and Guy with the, the blue shirt. They were second primarily because of the timing. I saw a lot of good timing with them um, even though they weren't doing a whole lot of different movements as much as the other couple um, that I mentioned, their timing was the best. You know, hits at certain spots, it was very obvious the music was changing at certain parts and they would show that in a very pronounced way. Other couples did the same thing, but they lacked, the other couples lacked a little bit more of that control. So for me, the order of uh, my first, second, and third, uh, I would have to say the couple with the pink shirt and the, the, the tan hat got first for me, if I was judging. Um, usually at this particular level, I'm a little bit more strict on that control and the timing uh, because that's, that shows a lot of maturity in your dancing where you're not necessarily just doing a bunch of moves and your partner's responding to you, but you're actually being aware of what the music's doing and trying to make that appealing to an audience who's watching you. So first place, uh, gentleman with the hat, lady with the pink shirt, uh, second place for me, I would have to go to Guy and Daria, uh, gentleman with the blue shirt and lady with red hair. And then the third place was tough for me because I had to choose between control. Do I value more control or do I, do I value more risk taking? And the couple that took the most risks creatively for me was the gentleman with the ponytail. Uh, they both, his partner had a tan shirt on, he had a tan vest on. Artistically, I would be watching them as a dancer uh, going out to social dance, I would say yes, they were my favorite ones to watch artistically, but they were missing some of the other things the other dancers had, so I couldn't just put them as high as I would like them to be uh, as much as I liked them the most. 
but I would have to judge them according to those three things. So they would be my third place simply because they had the creativity part a little bit higher. Um, they also had some of the timing, but it wasn't as good as the other two couples in terms of moving in shapes that are a little bit more controlled and uh, a little bit more open uh, as opposed to just doing swing outs and some fancy footwork. Not to say that's the only thing they did, but there are many other couples who had a little bit more free movement. And uh, I look at that as a judge. Um, so that's my that's the order I would have had. I would have given them a big handshake at the end and probably watched the video a couple more times to see see from a different perspective. But usually on these competitions, you get one time as a judge to assess what you saw and what you felt. And that's my ranking. So what do you think, guys? I don't know who won this competition. I don't really know everybody's names. Uh, I've been in that competition once and... Uh, a lot of great dancing. What do you think? Do you think uh, my ranking is right? Do you think there were some other couples that should have won? How do you like to judge competitions, right? I do this all over the world. I get a chance to see so many of the best dancing and it's great to see dancers like this pushing themselves to not just be mediocre. It's so easy to just do the same moves that everybody else is doing, but it's also terrifying to take risks and try new things while not losing the, the value of the technique and the timing of doing the technique in front of people with the music. I think it's terrifying and I salute you dancers for putting yourself out there in front of an audience and trying different things. That's something that I really like. And you know, I, I always I say I'm not scared, but I am scared, but I'm very courageous and I love trying to do new things. So as a judge, that's typically what I value um, is to see how much risk taking you can take, wh what kind of creativity that you're putting that out there that I haven't seen before, but not losing the timing and not losing that control. So much respect to you guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section, who you thought should have won this competition. Um, if you're struggling in social dancing like this, I encourage you to check out some of my courses below. I got 20 something courses to kind of help put you on the right track and also get a taste of some of the creativity that I produce every single week for my students. I'm coming up with stuff you haven't seen, nothing that you haven't seen. And that's my goal is to just keep putting it out there for you guys. So if you are interested and get a taste of that, I encourage you to check out some of those courses below. And uh, I will see you either in class, online, or in the next reaction video. Have a great day, take care.